you. Well, yes, is Monday <laughs> Midday Meditation for Monday, November 13th, 2023. And we're happy to be here. Today's, to today's daily word is kindness. I thought yesterday was a wonderful service, Sandra. Oh, it was really nice. Just yeah. really nice. It flowed smoothly. People were talented and gifted in their sharing. It was just wonderful. It was a wonderful experience about kindness. I love the way that Renee started out the service talking about the yes. new practice she has in kindness yeah. in, in, in fellow people of the community. It was a wonderful experience to move through. We do talk about kindness today, and kindness is at the heart of everything. Yes. The heart of everything. Today's daily word is, I greet everyone with words of kindness. Sandra, what do you think about when you think of kindness? I think of kindness in so many ways, uh, how we can be. And I think one of the number one things is setting an intention to be kind. Sometimes we get up grumpy, but we can set that intention to not be grumpy during the day and actually reach out to others, even if it's just a smile or waving to somebody when you're walking. Those things really warm the heart, as you said, the heart of things. It warms people's hearts. We don't know that, but it does. And when it, they come back to tell you, offering it, to walk their dog for a change because they would rather not walk the dog. Just little things, yeah. Reaching yeah. out in little ways. I loved how random acts of kindness leads to something random. so much more. Right. So much more. We're now being joined by Reverend Donna Little also in the background. Oh, and we appreciate you being here. Donna is one of those people that taught me a lot of the different practices for a better life. And it starts with kindness, but also family members taught those lovely things that I call grace and kindness, where it's just opening the door or offering to assist someone that you may not know. It's all, it's all part of that process of being, I say, in the world, but not, or in the world, but not of it. Right. <laughs> good, morning. good morning, Donna. Good morning. And good morning, Olivia. Good morning, Olivia. <laughs> well, Sandra, why don't you start off by reading us today's daily word? And I'll take us into a gentle, gentle kindness process of meditation. November the 13th, kindness. I greet everyone with words of kindness. When I think of the efforts others make on my behalf, I'm inspired to respond with kind words and acts of my own. So many people have been spontaneously kind to me, often without my knowing them. Every day, angels are all around me. And we talked about that yesterday, having angels around us, physical or spiritual. It's easy to respond with a word of kindness, even when I'm having a busy day. When I tell people how much I value their service or generosity, I trust that simple act of appreciation could brighten someone's day. I also take a moment to show kindness to those closer to me, family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, and my spiritual community. I greet those in my life with friendly, welcoming words. Perhaps pausing for an unhurried visit and let them know how much they mean to me. Whoever pursues righteousness and kindness will find life and honor. Proverbs 21, 21. Good morning. Good morning. I'm waking up. <laughs> so, so, so true. So true. And the other part of kindness is listening. Listening and listening. listening. I discovered that in chaplain training, that the biggest thing you can do in the world is to mm -hmm. listen and be present for them. Yeah. No matter and what it is. And hold confidence. And hold confidence. Yes. So true. So true. So let's just take a couple deep moments, uh, deep breaths, and share a couple moments together in meditation. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
and laughter as it fills the lungs, fills it with the oxygen that we need to feed our brains, our bodies, and our souls. As we breathe in, breathe in all the love that surrounds you and release it gently. Take another breath in. Hold it for just a brief moment. And exit that breath with anything that concerns you at this moment. For God is with us right here and right now. In these moments, in this bliss of the day, God is in you, through you, and as you. For you are gifted with kindness from before you were born. For that gentle love moves through the universe and connects all that is and brings it within. And just like you in the moment of divine birth become present to all that is. For it's all God. Kindness reflects upon the faces of others as they pass with a smile. Kindness passes within you and goes forth, carrying you forward through the miles. For all along the journey, you're with the one power and the one presence of all that is. It reflects upon the smiles upon our face, but it reflects through all things with your gentle touch of that gift of grace. For God is. Kindness brings out the good in all of life. Whether someone comes to you with worry or strife, your kindness brings forward the natural traits of that ease and grace of the divine. Breathe that in for a moment. Allow it to infuse your body with all the good, all the gifts, and all the blessings life can be. For kindness, is divine nature in its infinity. In the silence, think about the wonderful things life brings forward to you and through you. Whether it be the companion in your lap, the furry creatures that surround you, that bring forth gifts whether it be a lick or a snuggle, know that divine life moves through you as love. Kindness is bringing your peace to a piece of life that cannot be seen but experienced through emotions such as touch, or physical gestures. Kindness is an expression of the love that is innate in all. Think about that for just a brief moment. Whether you reach out and touch someone in their times of sorrow or celebrate with them in times of joy, the gift of love and kindness is something all can experience. It could be as simple as opening the door. It is that opens up the heart for all to be in that divine connection of the reality that it's all good. 
everything is in the right and perfect place at the right and perfect time. It is your gift to bring it through from the depths of the divine. It allows others and yourself to become restful and still to be in that place of peace. It also adds to that great opportunity that it opens up when that which is a burden tends to release. All things are good. And in the grand design, all things are great, for it is all present at all times. As it says in the scriptures, Proverbs 21, 21, whoever proposes or pursues righteousness and kindness will find life and honor. Kindness is a way to display all that that has been given to you those gifts of love, the gift of peace, the gift of prosperity, the gift of strength, the gift of what is right, not just within you, but within all. And as you resonate your kindness out, it vibrates to all that it touches. Blessings begin with the gratitude of life, with the simpleness of pleases and thank yous. For those words of kindness, sparks more divineness. in kind allow yourself to move throughout the days expressing all of you from the depths within whether it be opening a door whether it being offering to assist kindness moves about the world it's something hard to resist for it is the passion of life moving forward. Allow it to be that which elevates you to the highest of being within you and around you that sometimes is hard to be seeing. Allow it to be free and flowing gracefully for each act of kindness brings on more good. It's easy to do with friends that you have close and it's also available for those that you do not know. For kindness has no boundaries. In these times that are ever so changing, the simple acts of kindness can put someone on the right and perfect path something that they have not seen coming forward, but it is something that'll last. Keep you the words of gentle kindness to express glories upon their day. Whatever you do is a step to help all find their way. Breathe that in. Kindness signs the light on all things and makes them right. 
It's the justice that's within you that helps bring things upright. It's the blessing, it's the gift that resonates through all things, expressing love in so, so many ways. Think about, for just a brief moment, all those things, even divine nature blesses you with as an act of kindness that you can't resist. Acts of kindness before your eyes can be something as simple as someone assisting to do such things as an errand when it comes to you as divine surprise. When you're in a place where you feel that time is of the essence, that simple act can be something that allows you to be more present in the now moment. Acts of kindness can be the glimmer in someone's day that helps them realize that God is with them all the time in every way. Helping and assisting, no matter what may be the appearance of other than, it's the love that shines through that makes everyone who they are and who I am. And most of all, as I said before, kindness is the way to open the door to start a new friendship, a relationship in life, or to start on an adventure with the gratitude and delight. For everywhere there's kindness, and everywhere there's love, and everywhere there's divine presence streaming down from up above that places all in the knowing and understanding it's all good. And most of all, if it doesn't even show from those that you've come into the relationship with, there's gratitude expressing throughout the vibration of that which is in connection. For you knowingly know, as you knowingly you are, in the light, in the love of everything God is. So take a moment and be grateful. Grateful for all the smiles that have come across your way. Grateful for the doors that have opened up throughout your day. Grateful for those people that make that personal contact with you and with everyone else. Be grateful for all that is, for there is nothing else. And keep on smiling. Keep on opening the doors. Keep on offering assistance for wherever you are from shore to shore. Where we are sure, as I am and God is, kindness is. Love is. 
peace and tranquility is. Life is. And honor is all. Breathe one more time in. Let it go. And with your smile on your face, come back and let it be so. As so, it is. Amen and amen. Well, this is Tim for here for, for Unity in the Olympics in Port Angeles, Washington, saying goodbye for now. Reverend Donna, bye, would you <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Donna, would you like to say bye for now? Bye for now. And Sandra and Squim, would you like to say bye for now? Bye to everyone. Keep on smiling. We love you. We hope to see you soon. <laughs>